United States President Joe Biden has arrived in Kyiv on an unannounced visit days before the first anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Biden's visit on Monday was the first to Ukraine since Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered his troops into the neighboring country on February 24, 2022. Biden said he was in Kyiv to meet Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and reaffirm our unwavering and unflagging commitment to Ukraine's democracy, sovereignty, and territorial integrity, according to a White House statement. When Putin launched his invasion nearly one year ago, he thought Ukraine was weak and the West was divided. He thought he could outlast us. But he was dead wrong, the statement quoted Biden as saying. Later this week, we will announce additional sanctions against elites and companies that are trying to evade or backfill Russia's war machine, the statement added. Biden said the U.S. would provide Ukraine with additional assistance worth $500 million that will include artillery ammunition, anti-armor systems, and air surveillance radars. Important Sign Zelensky wrote on Telegram that Biden's visit was an extremely important sign of support for all Ukrainians. The Ukraine leader said he and Biden spoke about long-range weapons and the weapons that may still be supplied to Ukraine even though it wasn't supplied before. However, he did not detail any new commitments. Al Jazeera's Hoda Abdelhamid reporting from Kyiv said the news of the U.S. president arriving in Kyiv will be very well received by Ukrainians. This is a very difficult time. It seems from the news lines things may be a bit quieter overall in the country with the battle more or less confined in the Donbass region. But people are anxious, she said. President Vladimir Putin is scheduled to give a speech tomorrow. People here are talking about a new offensive, a new build-up on the border in Russia, Belarus. So, certainly having the US president here pledging support, pledging weapons will make the Ukrainians feel that they can go ahead with this. The visit gives Biden an opportunity to get a first-hand look at the devastation the Russian invasion has caused on Ukraine. Thousands of Ukrainian troops and civilians have been killed, millions of refugees have fled the war, and Ukraine has suffered tens of billions of dollars of infrastructure damage. The visit came as a nationwide air raid alert was sounded in Ukraine, including Kyiv. In December 2022, Zelensky traveled to Washington, D.C. and addressed the U.S. Congress, in his first trip abroad since the war began.